not easy to raise all those children. It was not easy about the journey we went through. Not easy. But because we hold on that Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is why God protect us. God secure us. God give us peace. God give us joy. Hallelujah. We decided one day. I decided one day to choose my beautiful wife. Hallelujah. And those are the results. Hallelujah. Decision is a great thing. Hallelujah. We have a lot of things to say about our journey, our life, but maybe we'll say these things later. Let's read the word of God. The word of God in Deuteronomy 30. 20. I want to talk to someone here today. You have been in a church for a long, long, long time. I want to talk with someone today. You are still struggling to be sure about your salvation. To be sure that really I am the child of God. Because I know that this is a big fight, a big problem in the mind of many people in the church. Hallelujah. And I would like to ask you, are you really, really a child of God? Do you believe this? Or... You was waiting to feel the things as when he spoke to us last time. You don't need to feel that you are a child of God. You need to believe in the word of God that you are a child of God. I want to talk about decision or taking a decision or choice. Let me read the word of God. Children, can you help us to read the word? Thank you. 30, Deuteronomy 30. No, no, from 19 to 20. Thank you. Ben? Thank you. This day I call heaven and earth as witnesses against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life, so that you and your children may live, and that you may love the Lord your God, listen to his voice, and hold fast to him. For the Lord is your life, and he will give you many years in the land he swore to give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. This is an offer of life and death God was given to his people. And often you can hear someone say that, I didn't have a choice. Or if I could know this, those are the common saying many people will say. Hallelujah. In this life we are living, there are a lot of things for you and I to make a choice. I have chosen myself to marry Riziki. Hallelujah. You can choose to live somewhere. You can choose to live in the east, north, across the beach, the mountain, the valley. 
You have that choice. You can do that. Hallelujah. You can choose to buy a luxury car or a classic car. You can choose. It's up to you. You can choose to work to this job. I need this or I need this career. It's up to you. We make decisions every day, every moment. Even when you woke up this morning, you have chosen what clothes to wear. Hallelujah. We make decisions day by day. Those are the things you can do. At school, should a student will be given some subjects, a selective subject, you choose what you want. Hallelujah. But there are some other things you cannot choose. You can't choose to be born from the parents who are poor or who are rich. You can't choose that. You find yourself already born from the parents who are poor or who are rich. Hallelujah. You can't choose your skin color. No, no, no. You can't choose. You find yourself already born with a dark, a black, a yellow, a white, any color. You find yourself already in. You can't choose it. Hallelujah. You can't. Or you can't blame someone or laugh at someone. You can't because he or her father, her father himself like that. You can't choose. Hallelujah. You can't find, you can't choose to be born in a certain country. You can't. You find yourself already there. Hallelujah, church. I was born in Burundi, but I'm Congolese. I find myself born in Burundi. Hallelujah. And I didn't have a right there. Any privilege, right or benefit, I didn't have it. Because I was a foreigner in that country. And I was a refugee in that country. No rights, no any privilege, no any benefit. I repeat, uh, year six, year six, three times in that country because I was a foreigner. I was a refugee there. I don't have a right like a citizen from there to pass that that uh, last examination you do here, year six. You need to have a 95% for you as a foreigner or a refugee, 95% to go in secondary school. But for the citizen, they need to have only 60%. I was clever in my life, in my school life. Hallelujah. But every time they will they will increase that percentage. It was 85 up to 95, only to squeeze those who are not citizens to not get a chance. It's very hard. Hallelujah. The war came and we fled in, 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 in Malawi. In Malawi, we became again a refugee there. Three quarter of my life, I was living outside of my original country. Hallelujah. In a refugee camp, we became again refugee, no rights. You can't work. You are like a prisoner there. No rights. Hallelujah. 
And then, the program of set limits can. You need to request some, some criteria so that any country, America, Australia, Canada, may accept you as a refugee to come to be resettled in the, in the country. You need to fulfill some requirements. And by grace of God, we fulfill it. And because you were a refugee, the door was open up for the government here. Australia said, that, okay, we need some refugee. I was among them. I came from refugee in Malawi. With, when I get here in Australia, I will have a right, some benefits. Hallelujah. Some benefits, some privilege as an Australian here. Hallelujah. I thank God for this country. I can call this country now my own country. Hallelujah. Because the country gave me a citizenship. Hallelujah. And those rights, I can get those rights here in Australia. But when I find myself in Canada, I can't use those rights in Canada. Hallelujah. All those rights in America or Germany. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to make a foundation for what I want to say. So you may understand. You know. To get the citizenship here, it's not easy for people who came illegally. You know that. I get in Malawi illegally because being a refugee, you, can, you cannot go with your passport. You are not a refugee. We pass the other, other way other way around and we surrender ourselves to the immigration we are refugee and you need to explain yourself your status so that you can be accepted many people you came here illegal you know how the things are very hard very tough but by the grace of god the country accepts you hallelujah but there is something. There is a great thing you need to have a citizen of heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Having a citizen of heaven. Amen. It's an offer God has given to you freely. Hallelujah. He has given us that offer freely to each and everyone who want to be a citizen person of heaven. Hallelujah. And this, it, it requires something. You need to fulfill. If you don't fulfill the things, you can't get there. Brother and sister, we are here on this world. But we are passing by. We have a chance of reaching 80, 90, 100 years old. You are lucky. Hallelujah. Back in Africa, it's up to 60, 60 people start to die. Hallelujah. We are passing by. Don't be distracted by anything that may, that may attract you. We are going in heaven. Hallelujah. One day, we live there forever. But to get there, there is a requirement. One man would like to go there. Nicodemus would like to go there to become a citizen. To become a part of the family of God. To enter in that kingdom. He hear about Jesus Christ. The Bible said that he went to consult Jesus Christ, asking the way to get there. And Jesus told him, Hallelujah. 
unless you are born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. This could be a basic teaching, but very, very important because it's a starting point of your journey of your new life. Hallelujah. We forget or neglect this starting point. It's very, very important. And many people have got lost at that point. Unless you are born again, to be born again, otherwise, you cannot go there. And there is a checkpoint or a border control. Hallelujah. There is a checkpoint and a border control. It's the cross. Hallelujah. The cross. Jesus Christ died on the cross because of you and I. Because of your sin and my sin. He said that, no, 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 no. I need to go there to die because of these people. So that one day we can live together forever. The passport or a permit to, to allow you to get there is the repentance and the faith in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to talk to someone here. I preached this message one day in Malawi. My church in Malawi. In our great surprise, after I finished the altar call, a deacon, a deacon who was in a church for many, many years, someone we respected a lot, he had something to do in the church. He stood up crying without any shame in front of people who knew him crying. I said that this is my first day. I want to be converted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah church. I want to be converted. Yes. It's very very basic to some people who are mature here. But for one person here only one person here you may be here without to pass on that checkpoint. In your Christian life, you didn't have a chance to repent. To acknowledge what Jesus Christ has done on the cross really for you. To come in understanding the pain that Jesus Christ has, has got on the cross. He shed his blood to the last drop because of you and because of me. But one day you came here or somewhere else and they called people to come to repent or to receive Jesus Christ. You come here and they pray for you and they told you that you are saved. And he went back with this thing, you are saved. But within you, within you, within your heart, you didn't really believe, you didn't really accept that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior. You have been brought here by your friend. And he starts to push you. Go, go, go now. They are going to go, 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 go. Go, go. You are making a great mistake. And he stood up because you push him or her. And he's standing here and he's been baptized. Or he's been he's, he's proclaimed to be saved. And then he's been baptized. That's the wrong mistake. And many, many people in the church are like that. Really, you are in a church. But 
the fruits of the Holy Spirit on your behavior, it shows something else. Because you didn't pass them to the checkpoint to repent yourself, to say, God, I'm a sinner. You know, we are sinner because we were born sinners. We born sinner. And when we grow, we start to practice sin. Hallelujah. This is why we are sin. And you need to go there and accept and acknowledge the love of God through his son, Jesus Christ. What he has done on the cross because of you to feel sorry for what you have done. To feel sorry for what you are doing. Let's say I come to you. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. It's a basic, but very powerful. Very important. When the children of Israel come out of Egypt, the Bible said that other people follow them. Hallelujah. The some Egyptian followed them. The Bible says it's only as 12, 13, 58 or 36. He followed them. You may be here in the church. You are following other people. But you didn't take a decision even one day to acknowledge Jesus Christ is your Lord. And your savior. There are some people who accepted Jesus Christ as their savior, but not the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, he has saved you, but you didn't accept it to be your Lord. Hallelujah. The work of saving you has been done by Jesus Christ on the cross. Your responsibility is to accept him as your Lord. And this, you need to pay a cost. You need to surrender. You need to accept him to be your master, your king. He is the key of your life. He decided for your life. Hallelujah. The difference will be seen. Your wife will see the difference if really you have been born again. Your husband will know the things. Your friend at work, they will know you that really you are Christian or not. Your neighbor, they will know, they will see something within you. Hallelujah. And these are not the things you can do yourself by yourself. No. It's by accepting Jesus Christ. Confessing with your mouth. Your mouth needs to confess the Bible. says You need to confess with your mouth. And believe in your heart. To get salvation. You can confess with your mouth, but not to believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. And you are still coming on the church every Sunday. And you are calling yourself Christian. But there is something hard for you to change. You are fighting within you. You want to do the good things, but the bad things come out. And you regret it as Paul was writing. Hallelujah. It's because you didn't pass to the checkpoint and to repent, to confess, and to accept that Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior. There is some other gift you will be given. It's the Holy Spirit will come to dwell within you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will come 
and try to help you, to enable you. What things was very hard for you? You start to help me things. You see that this is not my area. I can't do these things. It's time to come little by little. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, my people. Hallelujah. Now some other people are encouraged because your name is written in the book of the church. That's good. It's very good. But maybe you came from another church you may follow. Hallelujah. And this tells you that because I'm written already in the book of the church, I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. You are mistaking yourself. That is not good. Not because you are coming to the church and give your tithe or offering. Hallelujah. Not because we are called the Jesus Family Center and you become a citizen of heaven. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. Do not disappoint yourself. You need to pass to the checkpoint first. Acknowledge what God has done through his son on the cross. Accept him. Then you will join with others, hallelujah, who have done this for years, years, years. Hallelujah. Amen. And then there is no any condemnation, even your conscience telling you that you are a child of God. You know the conscience is the light of God. It's a light of God. The Bible says it's a light of God. He has put in within a human being to be like a watchman to watch everything is going in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Those who have received Jesus Christ as a son of God, their name were written in the book of life. The Bible tells us. In the book of life. Two places our name as a human being will be written in our life. Or in the book of life or somewhere else. She will can write for Jeremiah 17, 13. I'm glad to go slowly so that maybe this one can sink in the deep core of your heart. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 13. Oh Lord, the hope of Israel, all who forsake you will be put to shame. Those who turn away from you will be written in the dust because they have forsaken the Lord. Hallelujah. The spring of living water. Hallelujah. Two places your name will be written or in a book of life or somewhere on earth on the dust. Have you tried to write down on a beach? Write down any, any letter that, or your name on a beach and go home Come back tomorrow. The winds, the wave, and the storms will delete, will remove those scriptures there. One day, no matter what kind of name you may have in this world, one day, no matter any position you may have in this world, one day, your name will be forgotten. Hallelujah. In my own country, we have a, a president, a strong president, Mobutu Sese Seko. 
who was a rich person. When he said everyone, he did say that. Hallelujah. Go and Google and read him. And you see. Now, we start to forget him. Hallelujah. One day your name will be forgotten because it was written somewhere. Hallelujah. And God is giving you the chance day by day to receive his son Jesus Christ. It's a great offer. We can preach for deliverance or, or pray for the sick or whatever blessing. That's good. But the beginning, the beginning is to be a child of God. Hallelujah. You may say, Pastor John, but I was baptized already. It's good. But that baptism will come after conversion. Hallelujah. Baptism will come after conversion. You know the meaning of be baptized? We take someone and we put him, we emerge him in the water. It has a big meaning. We are burying you. Your old nature is burying in the water of baptism. That means we cannot bury someone who has not yet died. You need to die first. Hallelujah. You need to die first. Hallelujah. Let's make a scene. Take someone and now we try maybe to, to, to bury him still alive. He will fight with him. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It has been done back home. The rebels will take someone and they say, dig, 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 dig a tomb for you. You will dig there the tomb for all day, digging. But when, when they want to take him, and he, he will fight first. Hallelujah. <coughs> you refuse to be buried. And the problem is, many churches, we are burying people who are still alive. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are burying people who are still alive. And the result will be seen after. There is no any difference for those people who are not professing to be Christian. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church. Don't be proud because you've been baptized. Look at your attitude. Look at your behavior. How do you behave? You are really as a Christian among the people you are in? Among the people who don't know you? Hallelujah. You are behaving. Are you the light really? You can't do it by you. You can't push it. It's like within you, like automatic. Hallelujah. Amen. You start to feel no. Hallelujah. The thing you used to drink before, you say, no, no, I can't eat things. I want to vomit. Hallelujah. Because there is something within you already. It's like a woman with a pregnancy of one, one month, two months. You start to hate something. Hallelujah. You start to hate, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want. Because there is something. There is another life within him. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Within her, sorry. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> the problem of preaching in, in another language. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. You start to hate. You don't need someone to say, don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 no. The Holy Spirit within. Hallelujah. Who will start to tell you, this is no 
not, it's not your place to be. Hallelujah. You can't say these things. You can't do that. It's within you. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't wear like this. Hallelujah. Amen. Who will tell you like this? Don't tell me that. Tell me the Bible. What the Bible said. No, 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 no. There are some other things. Jesus said that. It's what's written there. They couldn't written there. Hallelujah. No, we need to depend on the Holy Spirit within you. He will lead you. He will guard you. He will protect you. Hallelujah. In not saying that you won't sin anymore. No. You will sin. But after that, peace will be removed. Hallelujah. Peace will be removed. Show will be removed. You start to look for. You come here. You look for a pastor. Oh, I want to, to ask forgiveness. Pray for me. I've done this, this, or that. This is the life of those who have been born again. Hallelujah. Do not be disappointed. Thinking that because you are here, Yes, you give. Yes, you die. Yes, we have even some responsibility here. Yes, we know you. We know you are a child of God here. We know you, we, we know. But within you, there is such kind of assurance. Or you are still doubting. Hallelujah. If really one day you have decided, if one day you have decided, Weeping sometimes. We saw people weep. Weeping. They feel sorry. If one day you have been in that point, believe you have been saved. Hallelujah. Amen. Believe these things. Don't doubt. Stay there. Don't worry. Stand firm. You are passing from death to life already. There is no any condemnation. Satan may come and whisper in your ears, but stand firm. Hallelujah. But if you didn't get to that point, maybe because of where you came from, you came from another church, you came from another county, or I don't know. They have told you it's okay. Now we have been saved. It's okay. But a mistake. Hallelujah. That's a mistake. And this is why you're still struggling. You are struggling yourself. You are fighting yourself. You want to make you right or to do something right. No, no. You start to be good within you. Within you, so that your act, your action, may be expressed outside. Hallelujah. It's a basic teaching or sermon, but it's very important. Very important. It's like when we escort our brother and sister in the airport. So when we are in a car, you don't know who is going. Hallelujah. Until you get there at the checking point, you will see, ah, this is the one who's going. And other remain. You may be here at the church. And for years, for years. But without a The Bible says that there is a way. You may think that the way you are going in through, it's the right way. This is your thinking. Maybe it was your thinking. You were thinking that you are really Christian. You are a born again. You are the child, a family of people of God. You were thinking that. 
And today, I'm here to tell you that that was the wrong direction. Hallelujah. Sometimes God can even bless you. Hallelujah. He can even bless you. He can even heal you. He can even respond to your need after praying. And you think that I'm right with God. Hallelujah. Remember God, our God is a God of all people. He released the rain to everyone. Hallelujah. He made the sun shine to everyone. If some, even someone who has killed someone yesterday, tomorrow will wake up and beneficiate the sun or the rain. Hallelujah. That is not a guarantee. Hallelujah. Or it's not a guarantee. Maybe you may have a, a power to release, maybe to raise up the dead. It's not a guarantee. Because one day Jesus said that. I will tell them, go away. I didn't know you. It will be very sad. When you are told that, I didn't know you. You have been in the church. Yes, I accept. You have given the title and offering. Yes, I accept. You have been baptized. Yes, I know. But I didn't know you. Today was your day of salvation. It was your day to receive that free offer of life. I beg you to receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Because it's a good decision of life and death. Yes. It's basic. It's very simple. But it's very powerful. I know we came from different background. Different background. With different belief. But here, I throw to you Let's stay.